So how do you stop the syncing of your MacBook and iPhone, right? So if both your devices are connected through the same Apple ID, then some kind of syncing is probably turned on in the settings. So at first, grab your iPhone, open up the settings and tap on your profile at the top of the list. Then go to the iCloud and essentially in here, you can browse all of the storage situation for your iCloud and the services which are syncing across your devices. So this is stuff like photos, mail, notes, messages, whatever. And essentially you want to decide what gets synced and what, the, what doesn't, right? So you can turn off most of these things, even all of them, if you don't wish to, to get it synced, right? You can turn it off on your phone and therefore it doesn't get outside of your local phone storage, but you can also just grab your Mac and perform the very same thing where you essentially open up the system settings and go to iCloud and turn it off in here, right? So you have to decide where you stop it because you might have another device like an iPad. And if you want to keep your iPad and phone synced, you turn it off, you turn off all of the iCloud settings on your Mac, right? So you exclude it from your devices. But if you don't want this to be synced with any of your other devices, you turn it off on your phone. So it just depends on where exactly you want to stop it and how you want to manage it. As you can see, there are plenty of options and alternatives which you can utilize. So that's all that I really wanted to let you know about or show you in this video. Subscribe for more tutorials and explanations like this one. And I will be happy to see you later in the next future tutorials. See you later.